Welcome to Therapy on Thursday. I am Minister Dre with another KRP session entitled Play the Background. Not too long ago, I had a tendency to try to fix everything. I wish I was just talking about cars and appliances, but no, I'm talking about trying to fix everybody's problem. For example, if one of my children came to me with a problem, I would immediately go into fix it mode, trying to come up with a solution to try to fix it, when all they just really wanted was an ear to listen or a shoulder to cry on. At one time, I thought my behavior was fitting, but I found out that it was only frustrating. Frustrating to the people that only wanted me to listen, frustrating to myself because I wanted to fix something I couldn't. And if I dare say frustrating to God because he's the great I am and the only one that can meet every need, not me. It wasn't until I went to Stephen's leadership training a few months ago that God spoke something powerful to me. This one sentence was the jingling keys that set me free. He said, you are the caregiver and I am the caregiver. I'm gonna say that again. He said, you are the caregiver and I am the caregiver, my God. You see, trying to be God and fix everyone's problems is not you being a blessing, it's you being in bondage. And because Satan goes to your university and he studies your behavior, he will use your willingness to help others against you, a situation that's meant to be harmless. 1 Corinthians 3, 6, 9 says, one plants and one waters, but God gives the increase. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is important because only God makes it to grow. I understand now that the best way I can help someone in need is to first pay attention and then point them to the one more powerful than me. God is the one with all the answers. We just have all the guesses. I understand that their rent is past due, but are you going to drain your account trying to meet their need? You can't promise healing to the sick. You can't house every homeless person you meet. You can't fix marriages and you can't fix broken people. And since we're in the Christmas season, you can't buy everybody a gift either. (laughs) You know how much you can afford to spend this Christmas. All we can do is plant by positioning that person in need near the great provider. All we can do is water by wiping out worry and promoting prayer. God is the ultimate blesser who gives the increase with the right answers and the perfect solutions. In other words, we just need to play the background to the blesser. We are the caregivers and God is the cure giver. Come on, say that with me again. We are the caregivers and God is the cure giver. Let that get down deep into that place that always wants to fix it. Let it set you free like it did for me. So on this Soul Care Thursday, let me share that it's liberating playing the background to the blesser. And here are my two Caribbean reasons why. First, playing the background takes the pressure off of you. Question, don't you think you have enough pressure dealing with the situations in your own life? God has a solution for both you and the person in need found in Matthew 11:28:30 30 that says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Raise your hand if you have been the burden bearer for your friends and family. That's a lot of pressure for one person. Because you stay in fix-it mode, you can't even actively listen to their need because your mind is always racing, trying to find ways to fix the problem while they're yet speaking. It's time to be assertive with yourself and with others and admit your limitations. Accept the fact that you can only do but so much. Use some wisdom in your conversations by starting your reply with, I wish I could help, but... Or what I could do is... These are excellent ways to take the pressure off yourself and point them in the right directions. What can you do? Well, you can pray with them, of course, but you can also share some resources of help, some agencies that can help them out. 
If there's a way that you can help and you have peace about it, not pressure, then by all means help. Listen, let go of the tizzy fits and tantrums when you realize that you can't figure it out. Everybody can't do everything for everyone. Keep calm and just pray. Accept the fact that your ability to help is limited. It takes the pressure off of you. And finally, when you play the background, it gives the glory back to God. When you play the background to God's sovereignty and let him solve situations, guess what? He gives all the glory. People need the Lord and they need to know that the Lord is the answer to their problems. People rely too much on the false glory of their cash and their clout, but it's God that gets all the glory for being the cure giver. Psalms 115.1 says, not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name be the glory because you are loving us and you're faithful to us. It's not about us. It's about Jesus. When people come to you looking for a cure, don't have them look out to you. Have them look up to God. Bottom line, we cause unnecessary grief for others when we portray ourselves to be folks one and only source of support and wind up letting them down when we can't come through. We cause unnecessary grief for ourselves because we know that we have limits on helping. But for the sake of coming through, we'll do things all out of the will of God and compromise our peace. And we also grieve the spirit of God because we take him out of the equation so that we can be somebody's God. It's best to point those with a problem back to the problem solver. In closing, I'll take the pressure off of me by playing the background so God can get all the glory. I'll be the first to admit that I used to suffer from headaches, had some heart palpitations, went into debt, put some relationships at risk over trying to cure when I should have just cared. Playing the background is you just listening and caring. It's best to leave the rest in the mighty hands of the caregiver. Sounds great? Come on, let's pray. Father, hide us behind the cross when people come to us with their concerns. As long as we stay hidden behind the cross, God, they will only see you as their cure giver. You are the answer to every need. So we lead them back to you. Help us show them the way and not be in the way and give you all the glory and honor that belongs to you. And it's in Jesus name that we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you in this season of Thanksgiving. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I am so thankful for you all. I pray that this therapy on Thursday therapy session has blessed you. Thank you for connecting with me every week. I really appreciate your encouragement. So continue to leave those comments on Facebook and on YouTube. And then join me next week. I promise I'll be here next week right on this couch so we can talk some more. God bless you.